Okay, let's talk about Kratuga. Finally, it's about time. It's not quite reworked Valencia or reworked Elvia, but hey, Kratuka used to be one of the, let's say, almost high-end areas, just a, a good middle ground between maybe Histria, Aquan, and the likes of Sicraia or Elvia. It's supposedly pretty profitable, especially if you can drop some of those Elkars, but yeah, it's been ages since I came here, I believe at the very least a year plus, so I figured let's see how this place stacks up these days. First things first, like per usual, let's take a look at how this place used to look like. Last time I visited, or let's say the first time I came here was on March 2020, it was worth about 110 million silver per hour with today's prices, a very poor 4.5 thousand trash per hour clearing speed on a blue loot scroll with the arch above, so you know, not a very strong start, but I suppose for almost a year and a half ago, that was probably decent. And almost 5 seconds later, here I am to contradict myself, looks like I have another test, also at, at Kraduga in the past, same date, March 2020. This one was 5.6 thousand trash per hour on a blue loot scroll, or 7.4 on a yellow, so a bit faster, probably a bit better RNG. I remember I re revisited this place back then because I was told how to properly grind it. So what we have to beat today is about 167 million silver per hour on a blue loot scroll with basically today's prices, this auto update. So that's our starting point. You fast forward at least a year and a half later to today basically, now I play Corsair as my main class with Guardian being tagged as the secondary class. I'm saying that because half of this test was grinded on my Corsair at first and then I transitioned into Guardian once I realized I'm not really the best Corsair grinder for high-end areas and I just, I just simply wanted more trash per hour. Even though I'm not the best geared player, I'm pretty sure I'm over geared for Kratuga in particular, and I have full tier 4 pets, which means I should get the most amount of trash. So yeah, let's take a look at results. Normally, you know I do about 5 hours per area, at least for this season 2, but in this case for today I did 9.5 hours in total, because I was actually fairly interested in Kratuka in particular. In terms of how the hours went, it actually was fairly chill, I only got PK'd once, and I think it was just because I was streaming, probably sniped. Other than that, the place was fairly empty, and if it wasn't empty, I just swapped servers once and it was all fine. I don't think these days Kratuga is very contested, or if it is, I just got very lucky. In terms of drops, Tungrad earrings seem to drop fairly often, maybe one every two hours, and other than that, just I stored everything in the bank in Altinova, and the scrolls, I believe in the marketplace, but yeah, let's look at Excel. So this is the conclusion for today. I would say with today's prices and on average about 7000 trash per hour clearing speed, I should expect or I get around 200 or 210 million silver. I, th I finished testing this area two weeks ago, and two weeks ago, with the prices from two weeks ago, it was about 198 million silver, so it, it bumped up a little bit lately, probably because the price of the Blackstones went up and maybe Kafras went up in price and you know other stuffs. Like always, we have uh, pictures. The first one is my 7, 7 hours and 24 minutes on just a blue loot scroll and the Kama Blessing, and then I have two more hours here at the end that do have the 50% drop rate event. I did these two hours only so I can see if this area has or doesn't have those uh, potion piece mini pieces. After the potion piece update, I returned here for two more hours just to make sure that nothing changed compared to the other seven hours. Other than that, for the trash breakdown, so as I said, the first four hours I did on Corsair, very poor-ish trash per hour, 6.6, 6.2, almost hitting 7000 trash per hour, this is where I got PK'd, so half an hour or so, and then after hour 5 I moved into Guardian and immediately jumped up to 7.5, 
yeah, around 7.5 thousand trash per hour. That's kind of what I should expect from my Guardian. It's either because it's a better class or just simply I don't know how to play Corsair efficiently enough for high-end areas. Besides that, we have Kafras. Remember when the Kafra Stone patch was the main attraction? Uh -huh. And the reason why I revisited these areas? Well, not so much anymore, but still, if you're interested, the Kafra Stone breakdown, they averaged 20 Kafras per hour, pretty much exactly 20 Kafras per hour. I decided to include these drop rate event you know, loot thingies into the normal spreadsheet and I, I looked at it back then and it really didn't make much of a difference. Maybe the average money per hour went up by like 5 million silver. So yeah, at the end of everything, again, 7,000 rush per hour, 200 10-ish million silver is what you should expect. You make about 70-ish, 73% of your total income from items you sell straight to the marketplace, which is not really the best, I would say, these days. These days, uh, you kind of want a lot of money from trash, if Valencia is any indication to that. I didn't drop any L cars, as you might have noticed. With one extra L car, if I go here and just put it in, you know, artificially, I suppose the money per hour goes up to 230. Again, assuming you drop one L car in nine-ish hours, that's kind of reasonable. So maybe this is the true money per hour value, but I'm just gonna leave it at zero because that's what I got. And I think that pretty much concludes everything. It's a very simple area. You go here, you drop a Tungrad every two-ish hours, you pray for L cars, and if you don't get them, it's kind of disappointing, I would say, money per hour wise. These days, as a conclusion, I will say 200 million silver per hour sounds good, or it used to, like a couple of months ago, but with the reworked Valencia, it's it's kind of poop. I, I honestly cannot recommend this place. I'm happy I delayed this video and didn't make it to two weeks ago, because then I would have actually recommended the place. But now, seeing the new Valencia, it's kind of impossible for me to recommend this place. Who knows, maybe it will get buffed like Valencia did, maybe not. I regardless, it's done, I visited it, I know I don't have to come here back again, especially since, if you noticed, I did drop one of the compass pieces from this place as well, again, two weeks ago when we had that event. And with those in total, now I have two compass pieces, one of them from the past, from a visit in, uh, I believe, uh, Histria, and the other two map pieces that I recently got, also on Valencia, looks like I'm one piece away from either the compass or the map. Maybe I should grind for those. Who knows? I'm rambling, so I will just leave it here. Thank you very much for watching if you made it this far. Hope you found some usefulness out of this. Honestly, I, I was very hyped for this place, but now I'm just meh, disappointed. Just Valencia looks so, so much better. I will see you next time with uh, a different area. Centaurs in particular. I'm already kind of done with that one as well. Um, yeah, like the video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment and all the stuffs. Become a member if you want to support the channel and all of the goodness. And bye-bye. Uh, Catch you next time.